everybody, welcome to the Kirsty Making Show. <laughs> Where we do nails, we do nails and shears. So yeah, let's get started. So, what does everybody think of our beautiful new set it took a lot of hard work but i love it adam loves it andrea loves it we all love it we hope you love it <laughs> so i'm going to use the hand sanitizer from navy tools which i love because it's not scented Pop it on. i'm even going to put it on my glove uh, it's not scented and but it still kills all the germs and it doesn't like wreck your hands so we're going to do, I'm going to sculpt today on Andrea's nails. Um, we're going to be using, for the acrylic range side of it, we're going to be using the Nail Company Genesis range. I've also got some amazing glitters from a a Glitters. So let's look at them. Bam, they are delicious. And we've got some gel polishes from La Sente as well. So we've got quite a mix. And I think that's nice because you never really find one brand that provides absolutely everything that you want so it's nice to be able to use these different brands but I'm not going to mix the acrylic system I'm not going to mix the gel either if you get what I mean so we're nice and clean we've already prepped the nails and we're going to use the Kirsty Meeking formation sculpting forms so we have cut out wings here and here we also have a perforation line running through. Let me try and get some pointy to show you. So here we have a perforation line. So that is easily taken out. I do, I do snip it with some little scissors. I just go through those perforations if you've got a high hypernicium. And then also if we're not doing extreme length nails, we have a perforation line here. So what you can do is you can just bend those like that, and that, and then you can remove that, that extra length. And I'm going to show you what's inside. This is really important. So let's see if we can destroy this sculpting form to access the inside. So you can see the foil here. That runs all the way through the nail. Through the nail? All the way through the sculpting form gives it all strength. That's very important to so be nice and sturdy, they're nice and thick, but they're not too thick, because if you have them too thick, then that becomes a bit of a problem when you're fitting a sculpting form. Right, how long do you want to go, Andrea? Because that's going to change anything that we do. You don't want to go longer than when this, where this perforation line is. No. No. So we'll take that off. I'm going to contour this. I'm going to close those two tabs there. And then you can hold those tabs. And that's going to help you put, put the form on as well. What I'm going to do is, because Andrea has quite a flat smile line, I'm going to take my scissors that are from Katie Barnes and we're just going to snip this little triangle out here, a little bit flatter. What it'll do, it'll just create everything to be a little bit flatter. Slightly bit more, slightly bit more. That's better. So it sits nicely against 
Andrea's Harkonecium. So if we see the side view, you can see that the form does drop ever so slightly. So we're going to come straight out of the side wall there. And you can visualise that stiletto. And it'll go all the way down to around a six on our form. I'm now going to make sure this is nice and tight. And it's nice and secure. Awesome. Right, so we're going to get all of them on now. So we've got the forms on. We're ready to rock and roll. What you want to do is turn the hand round like this so you can check that they are all running straight as well. So first of all, we're going to go in with a clear layer of acrylic. So we need to get that out ready. We're going to prime with the nail press. So nail press, and then we've got the Ultra Bond, which is your primer. Tap it against the edge of the bottom, take off any excess. And bring it down the middle and to the side, and all the way over. Right, so we're going to use the, there's two different monomers that nail can be do. So you've got the medium speed and you've got professional speed. It's primerless liquid as well. So you don't need a primer, but you know me, I always double, double everything up because I'm like, oh, we'll just put a primer on just in case. So I'm going to be using the Alicia brush. This brush is insane. It is a double ended brush. So it's you can use it for two different things. You can use it for your acrylic application and your 3D application as well for when you're doing 3D nail art. Also, I do use this sometimes when I'm doing just a normal set of nails because what I'll do is if I need to just tuck a product and I need something that's a little bit smaller just to really get in there, I've got that brush ready and raring to go. So I haven't got to then pick up another brush this is my go-to brush. It's a size 12, pure Kalinsky hair. Just going to pop that there. Sort of halfway down the natural nail. Just so we're making contact with the natural nail. And then we can bring this very thin layer of clear acrylic down the form, sculpt it in to the shape we want, which is a stiletto, and make sure you're going nice and thin. So as I'm patting, I'm slightly pulling towards myself. It's very small movement. And then I'm just going to neaten that up at my sides. Make sure it's nice and even. And then I just want a very thin layer on the natural nail. So I'm going to do that on all of these nails. I am going to pinch these a little bit. So I'm going to use my navy tool pinching tool. It's called the Samantha tool. What I'll do while they start to set a little bit, I am going to get the, the form on the thumb now. So we'll just bash through that. Right, so I'm going to use these gorgeous colours, which are bee, bee bombs. Bee, bee bombs. I mean, come on, guys, just give me easy, 
like names to to read because we've c come on John. yeah bob right so we've got those gorgeous colors we've also got i need the clear out because we're going to put some some gorgeous glitters on <gasps> So we've got these glitters, which I'll bet these names are all crazy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, fire Opal, op not just Fire Opal. Fire Opalite. Opalite. Fire Opalite. Tooth Fairy. And Fairy Tutu. Fairy Tutu. Oh, oh, the Fairy Tutu. I'm loving these mixes though. I'm absolutely in love. I love mixed glitters, not just, you know. I mean, you're wrong. You, you see the paper is just being one grit. Well, grit, one size. But I, I really like them when they are mixed. Right, so we're going to do the ombre. And we're going to start with the pink at the bottom on this one. And we're just using this for colour. So I'm going to start to bring that up. Nice and thin. And then we want the bulk of the product down here. Probably I'm going to have to get another bead of the pink just to intensify. Right, so I'm just going to mix that a little bit because it is a little bit marbly. But it didn't take much mixing just to stop any separation. I'm going to get the cuticle mouse. And then we're going to overlap. Want to pull the bulk of that back a little bit, and then let's start to feather down. I'm gonna get one more bead, and if you start to sort of tap it, then it will get rid of that any kind of marbleization or separation between pigment and the acrylic. I'm going to take a little bit of pink, quite wet, and gather that over. And that will help your blend. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add oh, just a little bit, just a little bit. So we need a clear bead, and I just love all these glitters. So I'm a bit like, oh, which one? Which one? Which one? Oh. I just kind of swoosh it off a bit. I want a little bit of this one because I like these little liney strands in there as well. You see those little lines? Oh, gorgeous glitter fibres bringing me lots of joy. I 
and then I will cap them all, but I'm not going to cap them all just yet. I'm going to get my colour laid down. These two centre ones, I'm not going to put any glitter in. I have other plans for them. But we're going to do the ombre. And I'm going to reverse the ombre as well. So I just had to tap tap that a bit just to get the colours to merge. So let's get this cuticle now. And blend it down. This one I'm going to use, this colour is called Peach. And it's one of the cover pinks from the Genesis Nail Cami Acrylic. I'm going to create a smaller line. So I've gone with my bead, slapped it on straight there, halfway down the natural nail, making contact with the form. And we're going to do this in two beads because I want a nice exaggerated smile line. So we're extending the nail bed. I'm going to make the nail bed look like it's so long. So I'm going to use my brush to pick up and tuck and create that smile line. When I hear the word tuck, I do think of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> uh, when when you know, RuPaul says you can go on tuck in the in the workroom, we're, we're tucking, we're tucking away, <laughs> tuck, tuck, tuck. But maybe not quite the same as, you know, Kate, but <laughs> I love, I love RuPaul's Drag Race. It's like the best TV ever, <laughs> especially this season of the UK. I just absolutely love it. It's amazing. And now Andrea's going to tell me she doesn't watch it. I don't. Why? It's I don't amazing. Know. I have watched it in the past. Oh, it's so but I good. I forget about it being on. I can't see Damien watching it. <laughs> well, I don't. I, don't think. No, I just can't. No. no. It's not. Not no. for him. No. And do you always watch TV with your husband? Yeah, pretty much so, yeah. Yeah, you watch the same yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right, so I've got a nice high side wall to my little brick wall my line that's what I like I like it big so next bead sorts the cuticle area out and gives us an apex right we'll come to pinch this Right, blend that up and then this one we're going to blend down. It's going to be very similar to that index finger that we did. Oh, Faye's going to be jealous. Yeah. Mm. 
proper fumes. Fumes and flames will be coming from her nostrils, I think. Because I'm very jealous. And if I'm jealous, then she'll be even more jealous. I'm sure she would have if we give her, give her the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we actually told her when we were filming. She doesn't know. Is, we made sure that we didn't tell her <laughs> until we, we'd we already made arrangements with yourself. Yeah. Because you were always going to be first. So we're going to cap these now. We're going to cap them so we've got strength and also we're encapsulating that gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous glitter that I'm very jealous of. So, two beads, that too, and we know that we've got a nice apex, we've got the strength, we know that the colour is all encapsulated along with the glitter. So this one doesn't have glitter, but it still needs encapsulating, because if we left the colour and we came to file, we would end up filing the colour away, and that's not what we want. So we're basically sandwiching, is that weird? Sandwiching, it's a sandwich effect. So we are sandwiching the colour between two layers of clear acrylic, thus giving it all the strength in the world. I'm going to do that on the little finger as well pretty much going to do the same on the thumb and then we will come to this one and do a bit of work on this one I'll talk through that 
So what I'm going to do now, we're going to file them. So I am going to set up my metal file. Sorry, I'm going to hit Andrea with this one. Same time. Um, so with the metal file board, we've got this metal file board that's reusable, and then we've got the disposable files that go onto it. So I'm going to set this file up with a 150 and a 180 grit. So you simply peel off the back. This It's just perfect for when you're doing clients and you want something that is clean. Especially, especially in this day and age. So that's that one. And then we'll do the 180 grit. So you peel that off, they're nice and sticky on the other side. And I hold my fingers either side, so top and bottom of the file. That just lines it up perfectly. And then we've got our file, nice and fresh, very sturdy. So everything that is nice and straight, streamlined, it's perfect because it's so strong. One thing I am going to do is take a old file and I say an old file, it's just a file that I've been using to take off the sharp edges. So we're literally just going to score those sharp edges. Right, so this one, we're going to come to this and file it. So we're going to use a magic, magic tool, which is the metal file. I can get it out of packet. So with the Kirsty Mickey metal file, we're going to get this nice and Great. And when I say straight, I mean upright like this. The metal file is gooey, it's, it's firm. I like them firm. And I like them chunky. Uh, we like them firm. <laughs> and it's going to get it sharp, super sharp. You can create a lot of pressure as well with it because it's long and sturdy. Right, so can you see how sharp it is now? Yeah, so it's nice and sharp. I'm going to dust that off and we can apply the colour and the glitter, obviously. Now, the, I did, didn't end up using one of the glitters, which was too fairy. Well, that's fine. I can have that in my nails. <laughs> so I'm going to take the product up the side. Nice bit of colour. I'm going to make sure we get right into these wings here. So don't worry about the design work at this point. We just want to make sure we get... Let me just clean that off a little bit. Come on, Emma, so I can see exactly. That's it. Now you see that little bead that really does help. And I'm going to get the 3D brush now. I can just tickle that into... Place. Better. And with this one, we're just going to blend down one side. And a little bit more height with the colour here. Really want it to kick right up to that wall. Don't worry if it goes over the top like that. Don't think, oh my god, I need to now clean that up. We don't need to. It's going to be filed away. It's just pigment. And then we're going to get the orange. I forget the name, I do apologise. 
it will be in the description. So if we've got any products that we've used today that we've got discount codes for, that will all be put in the description box as well. So we'll pop the links in the descriptions in there. Okay, so now small bead of clear and into the glitter. I'm just going to sort of blend that into the tip. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of that one as well. Now that bit I think is a little bit too big for the tip of a stiletto. You can see how big it is there. It's you know it's it's going to end up getting filed away, so it's pointless being in there. But I love that little star. There's one little star there. Oh, perfect. That's not just a glitter being you know, thrown anywhere on an L. It's every piece has been placed to perfection. Now we're going to cap. This is going to give you strength and it's also going to encapsulate the glitter. You don't want to take this product too dry over the top of your glitters. You don't want to risk there being air bubbles as it sort of goes into all those little recesses. You want to make sure, you know, it's sort of medium to wet ratio. Right, so I'm going to take this form off and we're going to file. I'm just going to show you my normal filing routine on this nail while that other one dries. So I'm going to use my electric file and I'm going to use the purple stoned bit. So this is a ceramic bit, it's got a purple Swarovski crystal on the end. Because it's ceramic it won't heat up as much as like a carbide. I'm just going to skip over cuticle area, pull down, you can also just straighten up this a little bit, take any excess off that you need to. Then I'm going to use my file. I'm going to take bulk off with that first and then I'm going to come in with this metal file and get this super sharp. Now a lot of beginners or people that have been doing nails for maybe a couple of years struggle with, they end up basically anchoring the file like this and they eat out a little section at the side which causes a little dent and a stress area and the nail will break. 
So this file forces you into that straight position because it is so firm and so straight. Whereas a thicker file, you know, if we go back to like a normal file, um, they tend to anchor like this and end up eating away at the side. But I'm going to use my reusable, reusable slash disposable, because it's a bit of both. The metal board is reusable, but the um, actual paper, the file paper is disposable. So, side walls, round that cuticle, and I'm using the 180 grit side of the file to just go around that cuticle area. If I want a little bit of firmness, like more abrasion, I'm going to go for that 150 side. So you can set your nail file up however you want. You know, you could set it up with a 240 for prep and then a 180 or a 240 and a 150, or you could just set your nail file up to have the same grit on each side it's completely up to you but it is so cool that you can create the grits that you want on it and I'm going to go flat straight up the sides using the 150 side for this so you can see as we look at this now you can see where I've got yeah, and now we're going to marry those sides together by contouring over the top. I'm going to go back to the 180 just to soften it. Check my side view. Good on me, we're good. We're looking good, we're looking fierce, we're looking, you know, this is a bit of a, I think, Nicki Minaj would wear this colour. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take off sculpting form, discard that, nah, sexy curve, she's so sexy. Yeah, we're definitely going to go over with the electric file again. And as we file through this smile line, it'll become so nice and sharp and bright. Because we will hit the pigment in the colour and it'll just really brighten everything up. You see how bright that's going now. Let's see the cuticle area. So now they're all filed, we're going to buff these. So we're going to go across with the buffer, make them all nice and smooth, like a baby's bottom. They look amazing just like that. You could literally top coat and go. But we're not going to do that because we're going to do some wavy lines because we're getting a little bit wavy. I'm going to be using the Lucente colours. Now I grabbed all these colours because these are the kind of colours I wanted to work with. So we have, I have no idea what they're called, and I've never even used these before, so this is like, I'm going to give you the full review, whether I like them, whether I don't. Ooh. Right, colour wise, this one's called Easiest Pie, this one's called phone home 
And the pink is called Carried a Watermelon. I like that. Oh. And then this one's called Lazy Sundays. As in Sundays. Okay, it doesn't say Z. <laughs> I would rather put Z on the end. Right, so we're going to pop these onto a palette. So Lucente have sent us some brushes as well. So we've got some liner brushes here. This one's so long. Like how long? Um, we've got S1 and S2. I presume that S is for striper because it's a striper brush, maybe. So with the ones with these these two here, we're going to work with that kind of glitter shape. So those lines are going to come with that kind of movement. So I'm loading my brush almost to the stock, but not to the stock. And so we've got a little bit of a gap and you want to keep it like that really. No, it's splitting. Why is it splitting? Oh, I'm just going to even this up. And then we've got the Lucente lamp as well because we're using their gels. So we're going to pop them into the Lucente lamp. Pigments nice. So far so good. Pop me that in the lamp. So I'm gonna go with the pink now. I'm gonna place that as I wanna come thinner here. So we can see how we're a little bit thicker towards the top. Then, as they come here, I'm going to go thicker and then thinner. So we go thick to thin to thick and down. Pop that in, and I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to go thicker here on this little corner, and then as I come round, I want to go thinner. So less pressure when you want it thinner. And I'm getting thicker and higher on that corner. If you want it thicker, you want to put more pressure on. That means the brush will make more contact with the nail. Therefore, it will become thicker. The line will be thicker. Pop me that in. Now, I know this is orange on orange, but this orange is a little bit different. Well, I say orange, it's more of a coral. It's a coral colour. It does stand out still, which I'm really pleased about. Absolutely beautiful, darling. I absolutely love it. 
So I'm going to carry on with my swirls and my waves and get these nails looking a bit psychedelic. Psychedelic. I want effects now. I want effects like psychedelic effects, Adam. I think you're psychedelic enough. Okay. We're going to base coat them first before we top coat them. And the reason for this is because it will smooth out the finish. Now, I've not used this base coat before. It's quite thick, actually. This should really smooth them out. And the reason I want to smooth them is because we've got gel polish design on top of the acrylic. So because the gel polish is thicker, it will appear to be a little bit lumpy bumpy and that's what we want to get rid of. So applying base coat first, or you could do two coats of top coat, but we're going to go with base coat and then top coat. And what it will do as well, it will ensure that everything sticks to the nail and stays on. Longevity, it's all about the longevity. So now we're going to go with the top coat. So top coat, nice and shiny, so shiny. Right, we're going to put the stones on because it wouldn't be a curse to make a nail if we didn't put a bit of bling on. We want to check if this is actually a tap free. No sticky layer. We're going to use the um, crystal gem glue from Nailchemy to put the stones on. And it comes in like a little pump bottle. Squeeze a bit out. And then I'm going to use this T1, whatever. I think it's a silicon tool basically, just to put on the gel. Rather than using a brush or anything like that, if I had my pammy pickle up, I would actually use the other end of the pammy pickle up. So you're basically going to put your stones, well, sorry, put your gel where you want your stones to be. We're just going to do like a bit of a cluster here. So the crystals that I'm using are from the Nail Boxes company. I'm just going to put them on. that into the gel. Ah, uh, no! Hey, I need to pump the coffee. Mm. Right, and the gem, this gem gel actually has no sticky layers as well, which is really good. Pop that in the lamp for me. So I'm going to pop some oil on. This is actually sheer elixir. Elixir? Elixir. 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 Alex, it is, yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> this is from Indigo. I actually love it because the scent, the scent, oh, and I'll just, yeah. I just can't cope with these gloves in my life. Look at that. Bit more. Oh, can you, oh, the smile, honest to God, oh, yeah. is, oh my God, I've got the 
shea butter. I've got the body, like the body butter in it. I've got everything in yeah. this. Yeah, hand cream. It's got it all in that scent. It's just. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's like perfume, isn't it? Mm. It's so nice. Yeah. So it's going to wipe over the nails with a lint free pad, dry lint free pad, just to take off any excess oil off the nail. So you can see them under all the glory. So do you love them? I love them. I'm super impressed with everything. Um, like I say, there was a little bit of bleeding on the dispersion layer, like of the gel polish, which I think next time would wipe over take that layer off before I do the base coat or the top coat um, and definitely the shorter strap of blush was better but the acrylic the colours just look insane I absolutely love them and the glitter the glitter is beautiful so there we are guys um everything I've used will be listed below in the description box and if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all the links will be below. And also, I've got a TikTok too. So, TikTok too. TikTok too. Yeah. So I'll see you in the next video. Please keep watching. We are down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new.